normal eyeliner lip length. Blah 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 blah. It's, it's all just a bit mishmashed. Focus on me. Just stitched on this face. A stitch in time saves nine. <laughs> I loves, welcome back to my channel! Today is going to be the second video in the Halloween season. You might have noticed there's a different backdrop. It's because actually I am moving flat. So the flat's got lots and lots of boxes in at the moment. So I've had to shuffle some stuff around to get a new every two film. I'm not going to bore you with a massive intro today. So I'm just going to get stuck right on in. I'm going to do the usual by blocking the brows and doing all that jazz before we begin. And if you want to see me turn from this to this, then keep on watching. <laughs> Just before we crack on with the makeup part of this video, which is the main bulk, remember to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Right! As you can probably guess by not only the title of the video, but also that little snippet you got before, the main focus is going to be on this kind of stitched on Frankenstein face. I'm going to have to focus on the outside of my face as well, just to make that look the stereotypical beauty. To do that, I'm just going to go in with my usual regular products. Those products are going to be the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, the ELF Flawless Satin Foundation, XX Revolution Concealer in the shade CX1, and then the ELF Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder in the shade Fiji. All of this central piece now is going to be painted green, ready for Frankenstein. The paints I'm going in with are a grease-based paint from Krylon and they are called Super Colours and I'm going to go in with various different shades of green and I'll tell you the shade names while I do it uh, and just paint it all in, yeah. So, let's get stuck in. I'm going to go immediately with the shade GR42 and paint that all where I want my Frankenstein face to be. Well now I just look like The Mask with Jim Carrey, so... But I'm going to go in with a darker green shade called 512 and I'm going to start doing the Frankenstein kind of contours. I'm making sure when I'm putting in all of these lines that I'm actually just dabbing around the outside of them as well just to diffuse them slowly before we go in with powder and shadows later. Right, now I've done this, I'm going to go in the specific areas I want a bit more highlight with. I'm going to mix in some clown white with the 512 and then create that.
you know what, I'm gonna finish this off camera and I'll be right back. Right, now to go with all the definition. As you can probably see, the colours are a bit muted now. I powdered, as always, with my trusty air spun. Uh, powdered the heck out of that. Dusted all the excess off, and now I'm gonna go with all the fine details. And to do that, I'm gonna be using, you guessed it, Mama. The Alexis Stone Instinct Palette. Oh, 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 oh. I think you can probably guess which row Mama's gonna be using. Tis the green. So to start, I'm gonna go in with this Spectrum brush. It's a lovely little angled brush here. It's in the number B04. And that's gonna be really good for me getting into all of the wrinkles. I'm gonna start with the lightest wrinkles first and then go into the dark. Okay, we're starting to get there. I'm now gonna go with a really small Morphe brush. Oh, I should know this one off the back of my head. The back of my head. Off the back of my hand. This is a Morphe M506. Ooh, yeah, I should know this, I use this all the time. This is gonna be the black shadow that I'm gonna go with the tiny little detail.
As you can probably see slightly here is I've just got a cotton bud with some eye makeup remover and just kind of carved out where I want this eye shape to be. I decided, yes it's a bit of a Frankenstein staple face, but why not make him pretty? <laughs> I'm going to go in with the second green shade down in the column of the Alexis Stone palette which is a bit more of a turquoise let's say. And I'm going to stamp that along this kind of ridge here, ready to buff out. Using that same spectrum brush as before, I'm going to go in with all of the kind of lighter green shades and buff it out. I'm going to re-intensify the turquoise, the teal colour, and then I'm going to also deepen it up with the darkest green shade in the palette as well. I'm now going to take a mixture of the Kryolan HD cream liners in Sunshine and Emerald, which is like this bright yellow and gorgeous green to cut my lid and then I'm going to pack some glitter on before we go on to the stitches. Now it's for the stitches. So the first thing you want to do is go round the outside of the face in black eyeshadow and slowly diffuse it out to create this kind of 3D shadow. Ugh, well, just, I could have just said shadow. So yeah, I'm going to quickly do that and then we'll go in with the face paints to do the stitches. Okay, this is looking better. This is looking a lot, lot better than it did before. So I'm literally just going in with a water-activated white paint, and I'm going to paint them on. And yeah, we're just going to kind of go for golden see my hair hair. I'll zoom you in so you can see a couple first. Perfect. And now repeat that all over. And then I'm going to draw little black dots around the whole bits here. And there's the stitches. And here we are, guys. Here is the final look. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. It's a little bit different. I've never tried to do a stitch face before, so this is interesting. Uh, but yeah. I list all the products that I have used on my Instagram. So go and follow me on there so you can find out everything that I used. Remember, before you go, though, like, subscribe. Damn it. Until next time, try loves.